Okay, we're gonna take this four hole muffler off because now I've got the three hole muffler. It's not really meant for this side, but I'm gonna switch it out so that my exhaust ports are next to each other. I would rather have them both going this way further out, but I can't really do that because I can't fit a four hole muffler on this side. Okay, so now we've got the three hole muffler on this side. We're gonna remove that exhaust port. It's really meant for it to go on the other side. Um, I don't need it for anything for this engine. This top ignition wire that goes out, that lead, is gonna to go to the front two cylinders. And so I've got it clipped in right here. So that runs out through there. I'm just hooking these up first to make sure I have room before I secure the ignition coil to the back. So for the bottom or the back two cylinders, this bottom wire. Okay, so I've got the ignition hooked up. So this is the one that goes out to the top. So that's going to be the front two cylinders. Black wires are what connect. And that's how you tell which one goes to which. This black wire is the one that connects to that. And that's what's going to cause the spark plugs to fire. The next one is labeled TAC. So that's where your tachometer will go because these wires are shielded. And the other one is an ignition control. What I've done is I've taken that T fitting and I cut a piece of an, I think it was about an eighth of an inch thick aluminum. And then what that's gonna allow me to do is because I have my fuel ports over here on the side so you can see I got a fuel port there, a fuel port there. I have to keep those equal in length. So I'll be able to measure those out, run those through, and try to keep them fairly equal in length. So it'll allow me to kind of move that around and create as short of a distance as possible. So I, I want to keep those same length and shorten the distance. Okay. Here's how I did the T-fitting. Again, we've got that eighth of an inch aluminum bolted down with a hole drilled in with that eighth of an inch T-fitting. We've got four millimeter inner diameter line. It's connected there exactly the same length. So here, I believe it was somewhere right around three and a half inches. So we've got three and a half inches there, three and a half inches. We have that other line running out. It's not connected to anything. We do have the older fuel line, and probably what I'll do, these are really close in inner diameter. We need an eighth of an inch connection between these two, and I don't know if I want to do that with a fuel filter. 